Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am super excited for this video because I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do some Sephora VIB sale recommendations and the reason why is because for one I wanted to focus on more indie brands that are sold at Sephora so that's what I went through my collection. I pulled out my favorites. There's a few things in here that are not indie that I still wanted to mention just because I really love them but that was definitely my focus and also I literally have not filmed one of these videos since since April of 2016 so I feel like it's about time that I do another one also almost everything I'm talking about today is more throwbacks products that have been on the market for a while but have been long-term favorites of mine and not so much of just like talking about things that are new at Sephora so if you want to see my recommendations let's go ahead and jump right on in except not really because there's one more thing I wanted to mention I pulled this up just to tell you guys in case you were curious about the information for this sale. I don't know why I just said it like that. It starts on October 30th and it ends November 9th, but October 30th to November 9th is for Rouge specifically and it's 20% off. For VIB members, it's 15% off from November 3rd to November 9th. And for the insider, which anybody can be an insider, all you have to do is sign up. It is 10% off from November 5th to November 9th. I don't feel like this is the most amazing sale ever. Like sometimes if there's a brand that you're wanting multiple things from, if you go on their website, you can get a better deal. But if you're wanting to try things from a bunch of different brands, this is always a good option. And I know one of the products I have to mention is already on a really, really good sale on Sephora. So I feel like adding the VIB sale on top is just like chef's kiss. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm such a blabber. That moment when my throat's literally dry just from the intro. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and start off by talking about eyeshadow palettes. I have a few products to mention today from Natasha Nunona, and I believe that she is independently owned, but the first one that I have is one of her five pan palettes, and this is the Camel Palette. I love this so, so much. Like, this is a go-to neutral palette for me. I feel like it has everything that I need in just, like, a very compact five shades. I feel like it doesn't look like all that used and abused but I have used this quite a bit and I just love the tones in here they really are such a unique like grungy neutral while still being like on the softer side a bit and I love that there's like a good range of mattes in this one it can be quite deepening I also really really love the tone of the highlighting like inner corner type shade in here I just feel like it's super brightening just love that one and also I had to go ahead and mention my gold palette I've talked about this being a favorite from Natasha Nuna and just in general, like one of my favorite neutral palettes ever so many times, but I just cannot recommend this on a good conscience without it being on sale. I just feel like it's so expensive, but it really is one of the best palettes, one of my favorite palettes. I feel like you can tell, like I use this all the time. I used it like three times this past week. It's such a good palette. Like I just feel like the textures in here are so unique and beautiful and the duochromes and the colors and the mattes just blend beautifully. So I love this palette. I feel like if you are looking just at the neutral matte shades in here, I would go ahead and recommend the Camel palette. I don't think you need both of them because the matte shades do have very similar tones but the textures in here are the greens, the blues, that's what really makes this palette extra special for me. I feel like I can go so neutral, but also go pretty fun with it as well. I feel like of every Natasha Nona product ever that I've tried, this is the one where I'm like, that was worth the money. It's just such a favorite. Okay, so the last eyeshadow product I wanted to go ahead and mention is the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals Palette, and I believe also that Violet Voss is an independently owned brand. I feel like I've looked this up before and saw that they were, but it might have changed. I'm not sure. Sometimes bigger brands, it's a little bit harder to find this kind of information, but I wanted to go ahead and throw this in here because it is such a beautiful palette. I am wearing this on my eyes today, majority, and then I have just one shade from Natasha Nona on my outer V, but here's what it looks like if you haven't seen it. I feel like this is just such a spectacular palette if you love inner corner shades. Like nearly every shimmer in this palette would be beautiful on the inner corner. There's so many different shifts and colors and I feel like this is one of those palettes where it's super easy to do monochromatic looks with because you can take the top row, throw it in the crease, take the middle row, throw it on the lid, 
and then take the bottom row, throw it on the inner corner and have a look so fast. That's what I did today with the yellow row. And then I just added this little bit something deepening in just to make this look a little bit less bright, a little bit more fall. If you are interested in this, I do have a tutorial up on my Patreon, but I really, really love this palette. I feel like the quality is really good. The mattes blend really nice. The shimmers, I feel like work better with a finger. At least the middle row does, but overall, I just love this palette. Okay, I've got one more palette to mention, but this one is a face palette, and this is the Natasha Nona Diamond and Blush Palette in the shade Daria, and I just had to go ahead and mention this because every time I'm on Sephora, I see it for sale for like $44, uh, and it's not out of stock or anything yet, so if you are able to grab this for that price and then adding the VAB sale on top, I feel like it's such a good deal. This is such a nice palette. I paid full price for it. <laughs> It was like $90 rip out my heart, but I do genuinely love it I feel like if you have more like fair light skin, this is such a great palette The highlighters are so beautiful I have all three of them as a combination on my cheeks today, and I just feel like it's such a stunning glow The blushes are really nice and pigmented. They blend really well. You've got powder blush cream blush cream highlight, powder highlight. I just feel like there's a lot going on in here. I feel like the quality is really good. This shade right here is the most beautiful like pink to gold duochrome. There's another shade as well, I believe. Oh gosh, I can't remember what the shade is off the top of my head. That's better suited for like medium to deep skin tones. And that one, I think it might be citrine actually or citrus or something like that. That one I saw available too and that one looks really stunning. But this one I just love because every single shade works for me and like I said, it's really, really nice to use. Okay, next I have two different bronzer recommendations. The first one is going to be the Kevin Aquan Neo Highlighter and I know it's called a highlighter but I'm recommending this one specifically to those who have a very, very fair skin tone. It's the shade Sahara. It's described as a golden rose glow and it is the perfect bronzer for me personally. It just has a really beautiful, soft, luminous finish. Do you hear the wind? It's so loud, it's stormy outside right now. I need to like move this video along before I lose power or something But this is what it looks like and I actually did receive this one in PR But I would personally repurchase it with my own money. No problem because I love it so so much I'm wearing it on my cheeks today, and I don't know if you can tell but it just has like the most beautiful soft bronzing shade while also just being super natural on my skin I feel like it doesn't look like oh she has bronzer on like it just looks seamless it blends really well I like that it has like just a tiny bit of luminosity I feel like that just adds to the overall effect of it I don't know if I would love this as a highlighter because it is so soft but as a bronzer I absolutely love this it's one of my favorite products from Kevin Aquan which overall I do like almost everything I've tried from them but this one's high, high up there. And then the other bronzer I have to mention, this is, uh, is also a recommendation for super fair skin, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade uh, one, and neither of these are indie brands, sorry. I just had to throw them in there because I love them so much. Uh, this is a really great bronzer if you have very fair skin. I love it because it's gigantic, like it's such a huge pan, and I don't know if you can tell, but I've got a good little dip going on in there already. I've only had it for a few months and I definitely see myself eventually hitting pan in this. I just love this so much. It's the lightest bronzer that I have and I feel like like I've seen people all my life like watching YouTube like they'll dip into their bronzer and then they'll just be like whatever like throwing it over their face and it looks good and I feel like I've never had that luxury because if I put bronzer everywhere like it just looks so funny because I'm so fair and normally I have to be really careful with most bronzers but this one I feel like I can just be super generous and just like go in and just do it super quick and just like have that bronze look because it is so light that it works if that makes sense. So I personally would recommend this one specifically if you have fair skin because this shade is so unique. I mean, I like the formula. It blends really nice and everything. Like, it's good, but it's very expensive. So I feel like for all the other shades in this line, they don't look as unique. I feel like you could probably get the same kind of look for way less from other brands. But 
the reason this one's so unique to me is because it is the lightest one that I own. I do have a full review where I swatched it next to almost all of my bronzers, which I can link down below in case you're interested. So that is the reason why it's worth the price for me and even better if you can get it on sale. Okay, so next I have two different blush duos I want to mention from Kosas, which is an indie brand. And I do have a full brand review of them as well, which I can link down below in case you're interested. So these are their cream blushes. I also do like their powder blush duo as well. I feel like it looks very soft on the skin. It's, it's just a pretty formula, but these are my favorites. So I love this one here, the shade 8th Muse. It has a really beautiful blush that's just like a soft pinky shade, and then it has a really nice soft pink highlight as well. It's just a really, really beautiful little duo. They blend really nicely. They have good pigmentation. I really enjoy them as far as cream blushes go. And then the other one that I have is called Velvet Melon, which is beautiful as well. I just love a good soft peachy blush. So these are really, really stunning. And I do have them in like the, just like the base formula. They have these exact same shades in like a high intensity formula as well. So if you're wanting to have these kind of colors but have them be more pigmented, then you can go ahead and purchase those. Okay, so I have one highlighter single to throw in here. Actually, I feel like I would have two. The other one is the Natasha Nona highlight. I can't remember what it's called. I'll leave it right here. That was like a long-term favorite for me. I just feel like it looks so smooth on the skin. I hit pan on it and everything and I literally can't find it anywhere. Like I'm so disappointed in myself. I don't know where it went. I'm actually kind of tempted to go ahead and purchase a second one because like I said, I did hit pan on it. I love it so, so much. So I might end up buying that again, which hurts my heart because I know it's gotta be somewhere. But anyways, the other highlighter that I wanted to recommend is the Melt Cosmetics Illumination Highlight. And I know this isn't for everyone, so I'm gonna describe who it is for, but this is such a beautiful highlight. It's still available in stock on Sephora. It was from the holiday collection last year from Melt, but here, here is what it looks like. And it's not as beautiful as it used to be. It used to be the most beautiful Dia de los Muertos design, but I've used it quite a bit so you can't really see the face on the skull anymore and a lot of the flowers have kind of been just merged together but this is such a beautiful highlight. It's a really cool duochrome. It's like a pink shift with like an orangey yellowy base to it and I would recommend this to someone who likes a really intense sparkly glittery highlight. It's definitely I would say quite sparkly it just has the coolest shift to it and I feel like if you really blend it back into your cheekbones it's so beautiful I'm gonna make sure to link a video down below where I use this on the skin so you can see it in action but it is really really beautiful and I just love it for the design as well I wish that the outside packaging had had a design on it and it wasn't just the inside which gets ruined as you use it that's my one like little gripe with this but I do feel like it's a really beautiful highlight okay so now I have two like single lip products before I jump into some sets that I want to mention really quickly. The first is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Lip Gloss. I think that's what this is called. It's yes, it's the Latte Lip Gloss, but it's the shade Creamer. And I wanted to go ahead and mention this because it is still available in stock on Sephora. I did go ahead and check. I really like the lip gloss formula from Dominique Cosmetics. I also have their peach tea one, which is really nice as well, but it's no longer available. I think that one was discontinued. But the reason I'm recommending this shade specifically is because it is one of the only nude glosses that does not separate on my lips. For some reason, so many glosses, when they're super light like this, like this one from Beauty Bay, the ballet shade, they just separate. They look terrible on the lips and they just like... Oh, they crease and it just looks so funny and I feel like it's just something about super super light shades but this one does not do that so if you're looking for a very solid lip gloss this one's nice I feel like it does smell like coffee if I remember correctly it does it smells like coffee it has just a very like creamy formula it's not sticky at all it's very comfortable on the lips Dominique Cosmetics is independently owned by Kristen Dominique and then the other lipstick I wanted to mention is the Jouer Lip Balm in the shade Amaryllis. And Jouer is actually independently owned. And I actually watched a pod, or not watched, I listened to a podcast about the owner. I want to say her name is Christina or Christine. But she seemed really, really cool. I really like, like I really enjoyed getting to hear about Jouer. And they've actually been around for quite a while. Like I want to say like at least a decade. I feel like they've been more popular on social media recently, but 
Anyways, I really, really love this lip balm. I feel like the packaging is just super beautiful and I really want to try more from Jouer. I just haven't bit the bullet yet. Actually, you know what? I have something else I want to mention for this in just a moment. But this is such a beautiful lip balm formula. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today and it has like a nice amount of pigmentation, but it also is just super glossy, very, very comfortable on the lips. I am so sorry. My house is so loud today. I feel like I keep getting louder and louder trying to talk over all of the kids that sound like a zoo downstairs. I'm so sorry, but I love this and I recommend it a lot if you like a pigmented glossy lip balm because I'm all about that life and it's just super comfortable. They have a bunch of shades available. Like I said, the one I have is a Marilis and it's such a beautiful brown. Like I really, really love the tone of this one. I mean, you can see it on my lips right now. It's just stunning. Also, while we're here, I feel like I should throw in the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. This one is a very thick lip balm. It's such a nice formula. It feels so hydrating on the lips, so I want to go ahead and throw that in too. And I think they might have holiday sets with this, if I remember correctly. Last but not least, I pulled out all my little minis, and these are actually all from a video that I did I want to say maybe like two weeks ago. I was testing out a bunch of Sephora holiday kits. There was three different ones from Rare Beauty and one from Tower 28. And overall, I was so impressed by the holiday sets. I have been using all of these minis constantly, consistently. Like they're just really high quality, really good prices. And I love that I was able to try so many things from Rare Beauty without spending a ton of money. Like it was like the equivalent of buying like three products maybe was the equivalent of buying all the minis. So I wanted to go ahead and recommend the Rare Beauty and Tower 28 holiday sets as a whole, which are both independently owned. I did a little bit more research on Rare Beauty and I really can't find anyone else who owns it. I think it's just fully Selena Gomez and then Tower 28 is owned by someone, oh, her first name is Amy. Can't remember her last name right now, but they are a pretty small brand as well, actually. So I'm gonna leave that video linked down below, but also I just thought I'd talk about these products individually. The Rare Beauty glosses, I feel like they're just super comfortable and they're also only $14 each. I have, here's all of them right here, which I mean is still higher than like drugstore pricing, but for most things at Sephora, that's a pretty affordable price and I just feel like they're super comfortable on the lips and actually this is a lot more high end. The new lip glosses from Lisa Eldridge, they're not the same shade so Lisa Eldridge's ones are a lot more pigmented but I feel like these feel very, very similar on the lips, like just formula wise. And from Rare Beauty, the blushes are so beautiful. Today I am wearing the shade Love on my cheeks. I just feel like these blend so nicely. They have really great pigmentation. A little goes a long way without also being super scary. Like I feel like you can just do a little tap and blend it out. It's not too much, it's not too little. I really recommend these as a whole, even if you don't get them as minis, even as just like one single, I think they're really, really nice. My favorite shade is the shade Bliss. And then the lip souffles from Rare Beauty, they're not my 100% favorite formula ever, so I wouldn't recommend these to you as much if you love a classic liquid lipstick that dries down all the way, but these are very unique because they have like a velvety finish to them, so if you like liquid lipstick, but you like it to be super comfortable and also still very matte, and though it's more creamy, then these are pretty cool. And then last but not least, I feel like I haven't really heard anyone talking about these from Rare Beauty, but lip balms that they did are so nice. I would compare the formula to the Jouer ones. Very, very similar kind of thing. Has like a good amount of pigment and a very glossy, creamy, comfortable finish. My favorite is the shade Thankful. I feel like it's a really beautiful nude. Okay, so those are all of my recommendations for the sale. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know, would you like me to do a shop with me type video for the sale? Because there's a few things I was thinking of maybe picking up and why not buy them on sale? So let me know down below. I did one for the Beautylish gift card event and a lot of you seemed to like it. You thought it was really fun, like shopping with a friend, except I mostly shop online. So just let me know, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.